Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message and my camera's going crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, today's the new moon. I'm excited and I hope you're excited too. It's the new moon in Gemini. But this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what's the new moon message for Sagittarius? One more card for Sagittarius, Spirit. Okay, thank you. All right, Sag, you open up with pushing through doubts and insecurities. Because when you do so, you'll be happy once you reach the other side. Spirit's got this, and things will work out in your favor. Mm. Libra or Aquarius could be involved, but you're involved, Sagittarius. This is about you. This is about you having faith in something you know maybe you've gone as far as you can go that's what i just heard and when that happens you have to surrender yeah the waning crescent moon is about surrendering you know it's not really giving up it's surrendering to higher spirit Whoever your highest spirit is, Holy Spirit, God, Allah, you know, God appears in many different forms for different religious beliefs. But whoever you believe in, who is higher than anything here on this earth, you're surrendering to that. And that is what's giving you the courage, the fortitude to push forward to not let the past be where your period goes there's a new chapter under this new moon that you are writing i want to read it i'm excited about it tell me more spirit sagittarius new moon strawberry new moon in gemini you could have a choice in love something that you love someone you love i see you pushing through <laughs> And, and where you've hit a blockage or you feel like you just can't go on, you've done all you can do, surrender. Spirit's got this. Mm. OMG, you open up with two major arcanas in the past. You know, the star is reversed, but you know, God is in control. They're still majors, even though they're reversed, crooked, cross. Whatever the condition, he is still here with you, encouraging you to continue on. Mm, I see why you're being told to push through the Ten of Swords. Okay. It's all about your peace. Your peace of mind, the Four of Cups, is at the center of your reading. Peace and serenity, balance. Regaining all of that. Hmm. Mm. All right. All right. Okay, one minute. Right, Sagittarius, you open up with the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, self-discovery too, you know, self-discovery. So something may have happened, it definitely happened in the past. Um, you became unraveled by this with the star reverse, things didn't go your way. Again, I feel it really was upsetting. It disturbed your peace. It was disappointing. Some of you lost faith, hope. Whew. 
Some of you could also be blocking the future by focusing on the past depression could be signifying this thinking of the glass as half full shying away from an opportunity or the spotlight there's some insecurity and um, that's causing a wish fulfillment to be reversed so you're coming in seeking knowledge on truth, on why something didn't work out, why something didn't materialize in a manner that you thought it should have. All of that is being enlightened to you. Mm. Very challenging. Some of you, some of the things that happened to you were totally unnecessary. You didn't deserve them. But nonetheless, they happen. You know, everything that happens to us is for a reason. And that is to move us forward to where we should be. The Ten of Swords reverse symbolizes that you are pushing through. You've endured these challenges, but you're not going to let them hold you back. No more insecurity, no more doubt. You're praying on this. You you begin to meditate on what you seek in the future. Your beliefs are changing as a result of what didn't go right in the past. You now kind of know why. You know the why here. The Hierophant is about higher learning. For me, it's about your traditional beliefs that you had maybe from your parents, old situations, they're changing. They're changing to align with how you feel now. You're looking for something balanced. You've been enlightened that whatever you pray and meditate on brings you balance at this time. Under this new moon, it's coming. It's coming. Why? Because you're pushing through. You're just because you've experienced something that didn't work out in the past, you're not allowing that to stop you. Mm. Some of you are not allowing people to tell you mistruths. You're not telling yourself mistruths. A lot of what happened in the past for you is reverse, which tells me that Sagittarius, you're pushing th forward. Yeah. You're pushing forward. And this is making you wiser. These challenges have come to make you expand. You know, I see that your mindset, your thoughts, what you want, it's changing. You may have thought you wanted something this way, but now you realize that you really need it in another form or fashion Continue until you get what you think you deserve. Okay. Let's qualify this reading. Mm. Mm -hmm. Prayer changes things. I will tell you that. And you have prayer at the center of your reading. I end all of my readings in prayer. Because prayer changes things. Spirit wants you to know that and remember that. Mm -hmm. Also, things are not as they appear. The tower <laughs> reminds you of that. Mm -hmm. God always has the last word. Why did I say that? Because in the future, you have the tower and you have the devil. Scorpio energy as well as Capricorn energy. But this is about you pushing through and understanding that as long as you don't settle for what has happened, you have the opportunity to change it. And when your mindset changes, it gives you a new starting point. You know, when the tower is here... Everything in the past, your beliefs, what you may have thought was going to happen. You know, we make our plans and God laughs because nothing's going to turn out that way. But the tower gives you a chance to rebuild because it breaks away the past, the misbeliefs. Mm, it allows you to push through 
and start anew, a clean state, a fresh start. It uh, allows you to make a wish again. Mm. All right, so you have the Five of Cups reverse. Mm. Okay. These are the doubts, the fears, the insecurity as a result of somebody hurting you emotionally. Mm. They weren't there when they said they would be there. They failed to show up when you needed them most. Some of you, they just really caused you hurt, pain. But you know what I like about you, Sagittarius, is you're accepting what happened in the past. And that takes maturity to look at what happened, identify the part you played. And that's what the King or Queen of Wands does. This is at the center of your reading. You didn't just get there by osmosis. You prayed for it. You matured. You didn't let what was a setback stop you from your comeback. I like that. You have the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. A lot of clarity. A lot of maturity. You know, the King of Swords changes the way they think. And the King of Swords realizes that their sword, their thoughts produce their future. Mm-hmm. You're thinking intelligently now, logically, clear. And opening with the Ace of Swords, you're very truthful, calling a spade a spade. That's what you communicate, this mental clarity that you've received. You're cutting through the fog. You're pushing through any misconceptions. You have a whole new way of thinking. Hmm. A new course of movement, study, work ethic, love. That's what you're pushing through to obtain. A lot of clarity. You know, once you are clear on what you want, it's like, your angel guides, your spirit guides, Holy Spirit rearranges everything to align with this new mindset you have. That's why spirit says, you know, you may have gone as far as you can go in a certain situation, but he's got this and things will work out in your favor as long as you don't give up. As long as you continue to push through, you're going to be happy when you reach the other side. Yeah, they meant lack, loss for you, but spirit will use that to work in your favor. A lot of times, you know, uh, the devil, you do have the devil, so let's talk about it. Because you also have one, two, three, four, five, six, Six major arcanas here. Seven. Mm -hmm. And major arcanas are controlled by God, right? The devil is too controlled by God. And anything that the devil wants to do to you, he has to ask permission to do it. He can't just do whatever he wants to you. So sometimes God says yes, not sometimes, all the time. Because whatever has happened to you in the past that was challenging, that didn't give you what you wanted, didn't produce the end result that you felt you deserved, what it did do is it created a spirit of you to not settle for what you've gotten, to continue to move forward to push through all of these challenges not let that period go there that's what I feel it's like you knew you deserved more the king or queen of wands they have the courage and the confidence to free themselves from the past and focus on what's ahead they're determined to not let the past dictate their future and that's what I feel for you Sag Hmm. Yeah, things didn't work out 
in the past to bring you to where you are currently. Spirit says you're right where you're supposed to be. You're surrendering to him and he is there to help you. Your beliefs have also changed as a result of these things that you have the Hierophant qualifying the Hierophant. Holy crow, I just noticed that. And you know, whenever God repeats itself, like I said, the past needed to happen for you to get to where you are right now. Like you couldn't have gotten to the point where you change the way you feel about really important things. These are things, this is how you're going to commit yourself, whether or not you're going to commit yourself. All of that changed as a result of what you experienced in the past. It was all about your traditions, your religious beliefs, your spiritual beliefs. They may not have lined up with society in the past. You may have sought approval from things outside of you and your intuition. But there's been a spiritual ascension here. Mm. A spiritual awakening. Things that have broken down past beliefs that didn't really avail you what you wanted anyway. So it had to go. Wow, but you're ready for this clean slate. You're ready for this new moon. You're ready for something new. You've done the work. That's how I know you're ready. <laughs> the nine of wands is reversed. You are wiser realizing that all of those challenges were mere stepping stones to get you to where you need to be right now. You know, just because we've done all this work doesn't mean that obstacles won't present themselves in the future. Um, it doesn't mean that you won't worry, you won't fear, you won't be depressed. But it does mean as a king or a queen, after receiving all of this mental clarity, you are able to control your mindset, not let it linger. Thank you for sharing, devil. <laughs> but I choose to focus on where I'm headed. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows you to build. You no longer let your shadow self take control. You begin to elevate your intentions. You begin to make new wishes. You begin to strengthen yourself and prepare to begin for something new. And Spirit reassures you that once you get to the other side, you'll be glad, so glad, that you continue to move forward. Mm. Not letting guilt and shame of the past get in the way of your forward movement. You are much more in tune with your emotions now, too. Mm-hmm. Paying attention to how you feel. Paying attention to that inner small voice. Oh, you've done a lot of work. Tell me more, Spirit, regarding love. What's going on with love? Specifically for Sag. Mm. You could be seeing 11-11. If that's the case, a twin flame could be coming to you in love. It symbolizes harmony and balance in soul counterparts. It also is the number of a twin flame. Someone who thinks like you, who's aligned like you, whose characteristics are the same, feel the same about life, love. Your beliefs are very important. And I see 1111 means that you're meeting somebody that is aligned with you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this 1111, this soul counterpart is going to be somebody you admire and somebody that you respect. Hmm, you have a lot to look forward under this new moon. You know, respect's very important because we never get to where we are in a silo, meaning there were other people in your life, other people that are still in your life. Mm -hmm. 
still around you. We're influenced by everybody we allow all around us. You have the Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Pentacles, meaning that that old cycle is coming to an end. And Spirit says, do a drill down on who you allow to remain in your life. You know, when you push forward, when there's enormous growth, you'll find that people that may have been a part of your life in the past aren't really able to go forward with you. There's something stopping them from continuing to play a significant role in your life. Spirit's saying, pay attention to that. Drill down. Put a magnifying glass on all of your relationships. Past, present, and future, I just heard. It's almost like you got a clean house, Sag. You know, because when you have a twin flame or your soul counterpart coming in, you have to prepare room for them. That means some things, some people have to go. Mm hmm Tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius. What else does Sag need to know about love coming in? But their circle, their personal circle in terms of relationships. What else, Spirit? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first card was the camera. Making new memories, learning from the past. Again, your perception, your beliefs, your traditions, the way you feel about love, it has changed. And that's what's going to allow you to make new memories. Mm. You know, <sighs> some of you have seduction on your mind. Mm. I don't know. I'm hearing from this card, never judge a book by the cover. Because sometimes we allow that cover to seduce us. I don't know why Spirit is <laughs> saying that. But, you know, you get all caught up in the looks. God, they're fine. God, their body is banging. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to touch that. You know, and, and everything starts under this energy of seduction, the outer attraction. Be careful of that as you go forward and make new memories. That's all drilling down on who you allow to be in your circle. Make sure that they are worthy of you, of your time, of your energy, of your presence. What? And, and sometimes judging the book by the cover, you really got to read the book. Mm. And that's the card. I'm sorry, it fell. Let me try and get it. <laughs> okay, you got to read the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking, meeting, spending time with the other really allows you to build a friendship. This time around, building a friendship is what's required. The, the cover just doesn't give you enough information. You have to sit down and talk. There's going to be moments w that you savor, actually, as you create new memories with your camera, your mind. It's going to allow you to experience new feelings, feelings that elevate you. Remember, I told you to pay attention to your feelings under this new moon energy. How somebody makes you feel. Not what they're showing you on the outside, what you think you could have with them. How do they make you feel? Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? For Sagittarius, anything else? Oof. This person, that's what a twin flame is. It's unconditional love. It is. And it's brought upon because you've taken the time to love yourself. You're feeling whole. 
And that's what attracts this unconditional love to you. Like you've taken time to love you, to get back in touch with you, to be determined to get what you desire when it comes to love. And that's what's bringing it to you. Holy Spirit, angel guides, what else does Sagittarius need to be aware of at this time? Holy Spirit, angel guides, what else does Sagittarius need to be aware of at this time? It's like you have a clean slate with this tower. I can't wait to see what you're going to build. <laughs> And who you're going to build it with. I can't wait. Oof. What passion am I ready to pursue? Your passions will continuously lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put on the side, given up on, or even buried? What passion is ready to come alive? Mm. Write a list. Of what you want and what you want to give life to right now. Then journal on it. Expounding upon how you can incorporate more of what you want into your life. And then trust your soul's whispering. That's that intuition that tells you to let your passions draw you towards your dream life. That's kind of what I feel with this new moon. I'm really, really excited for you. Because it's a new opportunity. It's something you deserve. You always deserve the best. And you finally believe that. And that's what allows it to come in. When you believe it and you act upon it, you act like it, it comes. Absolutely. You know, we all make mistakes. We do. But the biggest mistake is when we don't try, when we don't push through that mistake, when we allow the insecurities and unhappiness generated from a past mistake to keep us bound to it. But you know, you have to push through. You have nothing to lose by pushing through. You're pushing through towards something you've been thinking about for a long time. And this new moon inspires you to go for it. Because when you go for it, what you wanted is going to be better than what you thought you could obtain. This is the best. A twin flame relationship. I'm not going to go into what a twin flame relationship is. But it's a divine relationship where two parties are called together to fulfill something they're fated and destined to do for mankind, right? This is a, a service calling that it requires the two of you to do it. Mm. That's why the love between you is unconditional. That's what's happening here. Sagittarius. So we're going to summarize this reading with an angel number for Sagittarius. Oh, your intuition. Spirit, he's always going to let you know that he's got you and that things are working out in your favor. Be patient. Go with the flow. Remain clear. You opened up with the Ace of Swords and I see you end with it too. Very clear. You're self-reliant. You've realized a lot. And you're taking action. The King or Queen of Wands is a card of action. This is that unconditional love we spoke about with this twin flame here. It's time to implement long-cherished ideas. You're on the right track towards making your dreams and visions a reality. The right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Spirit's got this. <laughs> Things are going to work out in your favor. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust the process. So whenever you see 
one, 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 know that spirits got you and things are working out just as they should. If you believe this and are able to resonate, put one, one, one in the comments. Put anything that you would like as a comment. Just leave me a comment. Hit like, subscribe, the notification bell. Share the video if you think it will help somebody. Listen to the readings for the other signs in your birth chart to obtain a clearer picture on the blessings that this new moon is bringing you. Sagittarius, I'm praying that your intuition always speaks to you but more importantly that you listen i know that my intuition speaks to me and if i listen i never go astray let's pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power the glory forever and ever amen thank you for hanging out to the end the likes the subscriptions the donations thank you for you and until the next moon phase namaste